Hi guys, hey, welcome to your November Psychic Tarot reading with me. My name's Chris of Psychic Insights. So guys, Capricorn, this is your November reading. Four initial cards from this particular deck and then four from another deck as clarifiers. So we're using two whole tarot decks. If any of the cards turn up that repeat themselves, then the message is obviously um, poignant and stronger. Now I work with psychic messages as well and we don't know what they'll be until they turn up. So let's get on with your reading and get things started. First card for you guys, the Ten of Swords. Second one, the Three of Cups. Third one, the King of Cups. And the fourth one, the Knight of Swords. Okay. So let's take a look at the next deck and see what comes for you here. Capricorn, November. Okay. The Queen of Swords, the Two of Swords, the six, Seven of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so you guys have picked yourself up a reading with a lot of court cards in it. One, two, three, four. And three swords, of four swords, two cups, and two wands. So guys, let's look at this and have a look. No major arcana cards at all. This month feels as though it's more about people in your life, because there are a lot of people in here, like that in every single card, they're jumping up at you almost, except that first top one. So there's definitely, this is about people in your month of November and people around you. You've got younger ones as well as older ones. So. Let's just start from the first card, that Ten of Swords, and work from there. So we see that it appears quite a gloomy card. It's not a particularly happy one to see in a reading. It has the feeling of being deflated, as if you're like, oh god. You know, how did this happen? I, I'm, I can't take it any longer, I'm giving up. So there's a feeling of walking out, finishing endings, definitely endings because it's a number 10 and feeling as though you weren't supported enough perhaps, as though someone has done something behind your back that you feel is unfair or appropriate. Um, the thing about the card that isn't showing is that at all times when these type of events occur you do get up and you do lift yourself up and you head in a new direction. So when events like this happen, they're telling you that they were whatever it was you were doing and whoever it was you were doing it with wasn't right. It needed to be realigned, re-strategized. Now the fact that there's kind of so many swords in your reading and clumped around like this, it gives me the feeling that ear sign people are somehow related. So there's a feeling as if you've got interaction with air sign people at some level and perhaps some of them have um, either not stood up to your expectations or have created some sort of barrier or problem area that you need to work around or get resolved or walk away from. And we see underneath the Queen of Swords is the clarifying card for that. So this could be um, a person, uh, an air sign female who is a slightly older person who is either kind of involved in this scenario with you or has um, been a part of it one way or another. She can be a woman who is quite determined and forthright and verbal and you know even to do with legal matters sometimes when the swords come up. So there could have even been something that you were hoping would go your way with a legal matter or um, like a documentation, whether it's to do with employment or signing something, and it hasn't gone the way you anticipated. It's been a letdown, and it's been possibly unexpected. So it feels as though you're going to have to move on at the beginning of November. You will change direction, and you'll be pleased you did when you make the decision and actually 
do it because there's a little bit of uncertainty around here. Let's move up to this card, the Three of Cups. You know that next to that first gloomier one is a really beautiful card. There's three gorgeous women standing there and in that card in particular they're looking directly at you. It's like as if they're saying we're here, we're here to support you. Don't think you're on your own. So you have great friendship and um, love and support and nurturing throughout the month as well. This is more how you feel. Um, actually, going back to that, it can also represent physical pain in the neck, back and shoulders. So some of you may require some sort of physio or um, you know, manipulation osteopath or chiropractic work that could also be something you can think of to help clear any blockages that are coming up through there but coming back to this card the three of cups it's representative of a great bond of friendship and love and connection and happiness and feeling loved so there's great love there and there's also these that those girls are just looking as if to say don't forget us, we're here. We're here to either nurture you, support you, help you, or love you. Sometimes that card can represent parties and functions and events and usually all social happy outings and occasions. We come down here and your clarifier has that feeling of the opposite, as if, as if there's some ambivalence there like, oh, I don't know, do I really feel that interested? Am I... Um, that keen. For some of you this could mean that you have suitors around you. There could even be three of them, three woman people who are vying for your attention. Either in the way of you know female friendship or in the way of a sexual relationship. And there's this feeling like mm, I'm not sure should I go for left or right or should I take that option or should I take another option. So you're still feeling down here a little bit like oh, can I be bothered? I mean, I'm not sure which choice or selection to make. So you left feeling um, with a degree of uncertainty around people in particular and directions that you should be perhaps making either with people or on your own that have, um, that have energy tied up to where you're headed and also with where you're headed with relationships. We'll move on, we come next to the King of Cups, so we're still in the watery cup energy. Those are your water signs, you know, your Cancer, your Pisces, and your Scorpio energy. The King of Cups, he's a lovely guy to have around, he's quite supportive emotionally, he, um, he, he's quite an emotional person, but often when he's there, he is there in the guise of offering some sort of support, and again, nurturing, and lifting up the heart energy, so this nurturing friendship, if you like. He could also be possibly a romantic partner who's around. Some, some of you, it could be new, some of it could be already established. And again, you get under here this feeling with the seven of rods that you're still feeling as if you're defending yourself. Like, I think the month of November, you've got... Um, you feel like you just don't really trust anyone anymore or that you're sick of them or that you are constantly trying to defend yourself to, to be heard. It's something about you feel as though you haven't been heard and that you need to be listened to more and you just wish people would do that for you. Like, this is lovely, this support of nurturing love, but you're not sure if that's actually what you want at this present point in time. Um, don't just exclude them. Don't disclude the people who are around who are there to offer you support and nurture and strength and help you get through situations because you learn from them. Just little words that they might say or their availability to be there to help. Um, go to them and talk to them. Don't, don't put yourself completely alone or shut down. It's important that you still connect. Let's come to this guy here, the Knight of Swords, and he is looking into the distance so it's kind of and see how fiery and energetic that card is he's like the warrior he's kind of like oh watch out I'm ready for action so you get some sort of action back as the month um, 
moves along and he's looking into the rest of the year December and onwards so I think you get this um, either someone comes in who spurs things up for you and again he could be an ear sign person he could be like a relative or a brother or sibling um, and there's the something that either he helps you to jump into action or propels you along a direction that gives you some energetic oomph so there's energy coming and it comes in at the physical and the ability for you to put together ideas and um, words and possibly even contracts and the signing of new contracts and things like that which could be work related so you may get the offer of either a new position within your job or a new type of job towards the end of November and this guy down here the page of wands these two are both younger people and they will be younger and this page of wands he's coming to you also looking forward directly forward they almost looking in the same place um, again it's creative ideas this is to do with the concepts of career objective um, philosophy and um, making decisions about the future and looking ahead and quite often this can be fairly quick decisions and actions coming your way initiated probably by yourself or with the help of some of these people that you start to either um, interact with again or listen to and definitely this guy here he just comes in you know swords blazing like pure let's get this thing on the ball let's get this action started so a bit of a slow um, thoughtful contemplative beginning to your November where I think you readjust quite a few things there's possibly people that you readjust in your life some of them that you may move on completely get rid of them especially if they haven't served you for your greater purpose and then there are, there are definitely people around who support nurture and love you and then there's yourself coming back to sort of fight towards the end of November and get into that December mode where you will set your agenda for the next year coming up so there we are Capricorn a fairly feisty reading but let's see what last card you have for the energy of your um, spirit guides giving you messages just see here for Capricorn what do you like to tell them oh well that's sweet <laughs> That's a lovely card, the new partner card. And, um, you know, if you just look at the card itself, it is so blissfully beautiful to look at. There's plenty of the, like, the little pinks and the mauvey colour coming through and even a bit of the blue in the background. Um, the words on it say, A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognise them by your sense of familiarity, comfort and safety. And, you know, the very first card that you got that started off with, which seemed very bleak, and I said to you, don't be worried by that because the tens are all about endings and finishing off things that no longer are good for you. Get rid of them, kick them out. Boot yourself up into the new gear and get the new people in your life because that's exactly what happens when the door closes. Newness comes in and at each step of our life we are more prepared to pick the new people. You know, we have more... Um, understanding of what it is we want when we are when we have closed doors and we're picking new people like that two of swords that was there which was this one I think you know this ambivalence but you're thinking about which direction to go because you have more to base your choices on so the new partner card can very much be about love and romance and all those wonderful bubbly feelings you know harmony support the feeling of the rapture that you get with two people closely bonded it can also be for some of you 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 will be receiving new pets into your homes because this can also represent the partnership of a pet and for other people you can the new partnership can be in your career or job area and often this can be the beginning of a new um, partnership that 
creates a new business. So there are many perspectives that this card offers, but it's a beautiful card to receive because it is a very, very positive one that takes you to the doorway of the new path forward. And that's really what the whole message was for your November reading, booting out the old, clear it out, get rid of it, don't put up with it, and move into this new wondrous opportunity of beginning. So hey, thanks for listening guys and for subbing and liking. I really appreciate that. Also, wherever you are around the world, you have a wonderful November. Take care, but be happy, laugh a lot, and love a lot. Thanks for listening. Namaste.